So, this guitar has been uh, worked on a lot. I took the back off and uh, rebraced it in an experimental way. I'm using tone bar bracing, tone bar running from here all the way to here, another one from here to here. From here to here, the tone bars are rather meaty and they're adding structure. It's not going to ever bend. From here forward, the braces are scalloped and there's one central brace running right between these two pins. Um, the tone is unique. It's got more punch than a lot of parlor guitars. It's definitely better than any parlor guitar with a tailpiece. Um, I put this bridge on. This guitar came with a tailpiece and you can see teeny little evidence of the uh, where it used to screw on. Uh, I put a nice pyramid bridge on it. The bridge plate is massive and intact because it never had pins drilled in it before. So the bridge plate is basically new. Um, I have had to refinish the back and sides and I've got it real close to the original finish but without those weird black lines. The tuners have been taken apart, cleaned and oiled and they work real well. I've added bushings. Uh, the finish on the top and the neck is original and uh, the neck is absolutely level and uh, the intonation is basically perfect uh, as perfect as you can get intonation on a tempered scale um, the sound as I said is unique it's also got a pickup in it so we'll have to uh, demo the pickup in a while here so uh, when I do take the backs off and rebrace them, I do kind of experimental bracing. And it's sort of like the guitar tells me what it wants. And, uh, I usually try to take pictures so that I can make the bracing pattern up with the sound. Anyway, the sound of this guitar is unique. Uh, I'll play a little more with the finger picks.
Fender Acoustasonic. Mics are kind of aimed there. This is just the guitar. And we'll turn up the amp. The amp sounds just like the guitar, the pickup system is. You know, it's clean and it's right acoustically where this thing is.
Thank you. 